Hello, Technology Grazier, here, and today's video is for all the people in the world who've been like this. Whoa! Look, it's the new MacBook Pro, eh? So look at what it has, eh? Uh, 2.6 GHZs, quad core Intel Core i7 processor, turbo boost, blah blah blah. 8 gigs of uh, DDR3L onboard memory, pretty sweet. Oh, it even has flash, eh? Uh, oh, to do take the pictures, eh? Now, of course, it's not a bad thing to not know very much about computers. In fact, I'm actually counting on you not knowing everything, so there's actually a point of people like me. But basically, today's video, we're going to be going all over everything to do with computers, explaining all types of computers. So if you ever need to go and buy one or you just want to know stuff about computers, you'll know what you're talking about. Okay, so we're going to be covering three different categories today. We're going to be covering OS, or operating system, uh, memory, and speed. All very important things that will contribute uh, to you buying a computer. Okay, so let's start with the OS, or operating systems. Operating systems are the software side of the computer. Now, you're going to hear software and hardware quite a bit. Now, the difference is software is the programming sense of it. Now, hardware is the physical sense. So, example of hardware would be a hard drive, because you can actually physically hold it. Now, software would be something like Notepad, which is actually a program. Uh, so, staying on track here, uh, we have three different operating systems that are really popular in the market, but for very different users. So, you got Mac, you got Windows, and you got Linux. Now, Mac is uh, known for being very expensive, like, very, very expensive, um, but they're very simple to use. Uh, you're, probably, you're not going to get as many viruses, so in the long run, it's going to allow you a lot longer um, and it tends to be a little bit faster but that's very arguable because you can get very fast windows too now windows is a lot cheaper it's like one tenth of the price sometimes um, but you're gonna be worrying about viruses and uh, but it's also very customizable so if you're a person that likes to tweak this and that uh, then Windows is the way to go. Now, if you're a hacker or a developer, then Linux is the way to go because Linux is completely free, uh, but it's for the advanced users out there. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about memory. Okay, so the very first type of memory I'm going to be talking about today is something called a hard drive. Now, most of you already know this, but this is basically where all your files will be stored. Uh, this is a very old hard drive, very standard, and I'll be going over the different types of hard drives in a few moments. So basically, if you're going to be a very beginner user, 100 to 300 gigabytes is perfectly fine. You won't go over that. If you're thinking, maybe I'm in a family of four and they're all going to have their own user accounts, maybe 500 to 1 terabyte, maybe 2 terabytes is perfect for you. Uh, 1 terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes, and now you probably won't go over that. I'm in a family of four, and we all have user accounts, and I do tons and tons of computer stuff, and we're about 600 gigabytes, and we do extreme. So if you're going to be like, uh, if you want to be safe, go with 500 gigabytes, but if you want to be extra safe, go with one terabyte. Now, there's also two different types of hard drives. This is the standard one, not very expensive, uh, but a little bit slower. They're starting to use SSDs now, or solid state drives, which is so much faster. They have no moving parts, they're a lot smaller, and they're really fast, but they're more expensive. So you're gonna have to decide, do I want lots of space for really cheap, or less space for more, for a faster uh, hard drive, or more money? So you have to kind of decide what you want. Now another type of memory is something called RAM. Now this is the cheapest way to make your computer the fastest. It basically stands for random access memory, and it's basically the memory that your computer will access to run programs. So the more RAM you have, the bigger programs you can run, the faster you can run it and stuff like that. Generally, a normal amount uh, for computers is two to four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but then if you wanna go higher end, you can go eight to 16. Uh, but usually people won't use that much unless they're doing really, really big programs such as uh, making videos and stuff like that. Okay, so the very last thing I'm gonna be talking about today is speed. Now it's one of the most important things to take note of while buying a new computer or upgrading a new computer. As I just said, uh, RAM is the easiest, the cheapest, the fastest, the everythingest way to change that. So if you have an old computer laying around, you want to speed it up, 30 or 40 bucks, you can double the speed of your computer just like that with RAM. Uh, so definitely take note of that while buying a new computer. Now, another thing you want to take note of is the processor. It's not as important as the RAM, uh, but every year, Intel comes out with a new processor, and they call it like the i3, the i5, the i7, or and it'll keep on going. So basically, the higher the number, the better processor it is. i7 is the newest as of now. They also measure the processor speed uh, with gigahertz, which is basically the clock speed of the uh, processor. So generally, 2 to 3 gigahertz is the very, very best. But you can also get one for smaller laptops or something like that. Now, another thing that will make a big, big difference in speed is SSD, as I said before, or flash or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, it will speed up your computer a lot 
running your computer on flash is like 10 times as fast as using a normal hard drive. So if you have the money and you don't need the extra space, flash is the way to go. So I guess that concludes this video. Please stay around for the Pick Me program. And I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Anyways, the Pick Me program running this week is Skeleton Fish 12. So if you want to go and check out his channel, basically he does DS walkthroughs. So if you're into that type of stuff, go and click on the Click Me button on your screen right now. Now, if you want to be part of the Pick Me program, that basically means a free shout out. All you have to do is go into my latest video and say Pick Me, and you can say it as many times as you want. Anyways, I guess that concludes this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.